I'm Luke, and with Joe, we took a look at the EGR and PCV system on this 2008 Mercury Mariner to understand how they both function. This vehicle is equipped with an EEGR, or Electronic Exhaust Gas Recirculation Valve. The motor inside is commanded by the PCM to move in 52 discrete steps as it acts directly on the EEGR valve. The position of the valve determines the rate of EGR. The built-in spring works to close the valve against the motor opening force, keeping the valve in a constant state of tension. Joe then back probed pin 1 on the connector, which was a stepper motor control wire, as well as pin 6 on the connector, which was also a stepper motor control wire. We did this to see what the voltage would be when the key was on but the engine was off. Our readings with the key on engine off gave us 12.24 volts at each of the wires, the same as battery voltage. We repeated the same test at both wires, but this time with the engine on. At both wires, only 0.03 volts was found. We then went ahead and plugged in a scan tool so we could see even more data and what was happening with the EGR. The scan tool also corroborated the all data description of operation by showing that there were in fact 52 stepper motor points that it could open to. Since the scan tool was hooked up, we took the car on drive. We wanted to see under exactly what conditions the EGR valve would open and allow gases to recirculate throughout the engine. As expected, the EGR valve did not open during idle, deceleration, or hard acceleration. The only time that it was active was when we were cruising at a constant speed down the road. Here you can see that as Joe cruises down the road at a relatively constant RPM, the EGR valve stays open. However, as soon as he puts on the brakes and slows down, the EGR valve immediately closes. Here you can see as Joe accelerates, the EGR valve does not open. However, as soon as he gets to a constant speed and constant RPM, the EGR valve starts to open. Since we knew what the car felt like with a good EGR, we decided to see what it would be like if we unplugged the EGR and if we would be able to notice a difference in drivability. We took the car out with the scan tool, and obviously the EGR value did not change as it stayed shut. However, there was really no difference in engine performance or drivability noted. We all know how a PCV system works, however, there was an option for this Mariner that was a little interesting. It could have been equipped with a heated PCV system. The heated PCV systems use either a water heated valve, an electronically heated valve, or an electronically heated tube. Engine coolant flows around the water heated valve to prevent it from freezing. Electrically heated systems use a heating element enclosed in the PCV valve, PCV fitting, or the PCV tube, to prevent the valve or tube from freezing. The valve tube or heater can be controlled by either the powertrain control module or the thermal harness. Unfortunately, his Mariner was not equipped with any of these systems and just used a simple non-heated PCV. We started by just doing the dollar build test to see if the PCV system was actually working. To our surprise, instead of sucking the build down, it actually blew the bill up. Because the vehicle was still running fine, we speculated that this could just be the vehicle's age causing a small buildup of residue inside of the PCV valve. Because the actual PCV valve was located under the intake manifold and would have been a pain to get off and put the intake manifold back on, we decided to reconnect the scan tool and take off the fresh air hose to see if that would cause a difference in fuel trims. Since what we were doing essentially created a vacuum leak, like we expected, the fuel trims went up as soon as we disconnected the fresh air hose. After we put the PCV fresh air hose back on, we noticed that it seemed to be a little loose. We weren't sure if we were getting a vacuum leak there, so we decided to put some propane by it and check fuel trims again. Luckily for Joe, no difference on the fuel trims was noticed, which meant there wasn't a vacuum leak. 